All right, what's up, guys? Um, welcome back to another video on the Super Duper Football Show channel. Today we're doing a quarterback tier ranking list, and we're gonna start off with the Washington Football Team quarterback, which, as of as of now, is Ryan Fitzpatrick. But it shows Alex Smith is a little bit outdated. This one is. But we're just going to assume that Alex Smith is Ryan Fitzpatrick for now. So I'm going to put Ryan Fitzpatrick, or so we're going to call him, in the OK section. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick is one of those guys right in the middle. I mean, he's he's either incredible one game, or he does just mediocre the other game. So he's a pretty good bridge quarterback, as, and that's what the football team is using him as right now. So I think uh, even though Alex Smith is here, Ryan Fitzpatrick is going to be an okay. Next up is Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is, he won the MVP last year. Uh, this is a tough one. If there was a section in between these two, MVP and Pro Bowl, I'd put him there. But, um... I'm going to have to go with, I'm going to have to go with MVP, he's just way too good of a player to be passed up on. Just look at his career stats, he's just incredible, he's um, been the center of the Green Bay Packers uh, franchise success for almost, over, much over a decade now. Here's Baker Mayfield, uh, who's next up? Uh, Baker Mayfield is a Pro Bowl quarterback. Baker Mayfield is definitely a Pro Bowl quarterback because uh, he has the ultimate skill to be able to make it to the Pro Bowl. Even if he's a backup, I don't care. He's still really good. Uh, he's he has to he doesn't have as many passing yards uh, per season and doesn't have the you know he's not completely smart enough yet to make the right decisions. He, throw, he throws uh, dumb picks sometimes, but he's still a really good quarterback. I mean, uh, pretty underrated, uh, I would say, Baker Mayfield is. Ben Roethlisberger, if you ask, if we did this video about a few years ago, about four years ago, then I would have put him in Pro Bowl. Um, but I'm putting him in OK because I mean, he's 38 years old, he's starting to go down. He's like Ryan Fitzpatrick, except uh, a lot better in his prime. So, and he hasn't been to, um, he hasn't been to nine teams. Almost one-fourth of the league, over one-fourth of the league. So, uh, Ben Roethlisberger was once Pro Bowl, maybe even MVP. You could argue that he was an MVP quarterback. Uh, MVP talent type quarterback, but... As of now, Ben Roethlisberger is going to go down to OK. Dak Prescott is a Pro Bowl quarterback. Just because he got injured doesn't mean he's trash. He did incredible last season before he before he went down with the injury, unfortunately. I mean, he gave he gave the Dallas Cowboys fighting chances every single game and kept him in it. So I think he's a Pro Bowl quarterback easily. Cam Newton. Cam Newton is, as of right now, he's tradable. Cam Newton is tradable because, um, was it the 2015 or 2016 season he won MVP? Uh, maybe even 2014, I don't know. Somewhere in that time range, he won MVP. But, uh, he is now in tradable because he saw his stats last season uh, throwing. He had eight touchdowns and 13 interceptions. It's just not not ideal. Even though he had rushing touchdowns, which I mean, he's a mobile quarterback. Cam Newton has always been a mobile quarterback. Even with those, uh, I mean, he's just reaching his prime is almost over, is what you could say. And you can see where he is. Yeah, Mac Jones right here, getting ready to take it over from Cam Newton. In the coming few years, Daniel Jones is okay. I would not put him in Pro Bowl. He's not a Pro Bowl quarterback. I mean, he he 
has many flaws in his game. Pretty mobile, I mean. Of course, saw that last year against the Eagles, where he just tripped on an 80-yard run. But still, I mean, he's mobile. He can uh, evade pressure pretty easily. He can find uh, open spaces to run when he needs to. And, and he can fit in passes pretty good. But the he does not have much of an arm. Doesn't have a cannon. And uh, needs to improve his throw power. And he's just not not quite to the Pro Bowl level yet. But I can see him being much better in about three or four years if he continues to improve like this. Derek Carr is next. He is very underrated. Derek Carr. I almost just want to add a section between here. Oops. Uh, Derek Carr is. I'm. Ha I'm gonna have to say, he's really average. Derek Carr is incredibly underrated uh, for what he can do. He has. He just. He's really good on his own. He and Josh Jacobs and of course Darren Waller on the Las Vegas Raiders. But the defense is just losing the Raiders games and it's and that makes it look like since they're losing games, it makes it look like Derek Carr is the reason for that. So I really can't decide between Pro Bowl and okay. I'll just put him in okay, but I really think he's in between though. Uh, Deshaun Watson of course, before the, you know, you know, the things that are going on right now. Before that, he was a Pro Bowl quarterback. Incredible. Playing on the, probably one of the worst franchises in NFL history, the Houston Texans. I mean, Bill O'Brien has failed to manage the team well, failed to draft well, and Deshaun Watson was basically the best pick of his career, Bill O'Brien's career. So, Deshaun Watson has worked with basically next to nothing. I, I mean, he had Will, Will Fuller, he had Brandon Cooks, but they're not top-tier wide receivers. Of course, he had DeAndre Hopkins, too. Uh, now, he's just in a position where it's uncertain whether he's going to play. Uh, nobody knows yet. Most people think that he won't play, but um, I still think he's a really good quarterback. Has a lot of talent. Drew Locke is garbage. Drew Locke is garbage. He will never improve. He started out as a second round. He was picked in the second round. Broncos thought he was going to be okay. Maybe even good. And he's just trash. And I think he's going to be continu He's going to continue to be garbage as well. Uh, he's just not going to improve. I see no... I see nothing in his game that will make him improve in the next few years. Nick Foles is, um, other than his performance in the Super Bowl a few years ago against the Patriots, uh, he's tradable. Nick Foles is just a bag of quarterback, rich quarterback for the Bears. I mean, he doesn't have, he's not a huge, he doesn't have the caliber of a star or Pro Bowl quarterback, so he's not okay. I think he's just uh, quite bad, actually. Uh, Jared Goff. Jared Goff is fine, actually. Even though he, uh, well, he did make the Super Bowl a few years ago against the Patriots, and last year he just suffered. I don't know. Uh, the defense basically carried the Rams through last season. Uh, Jared Goff just, you know, couldn't couldn't get things going. He had. He had a, uh, quite good weapons. He had Robert Woods, he had Cooper Cup, uh, even, uh, who's it? Tyler Higby. Pretty good tight end. And of course, he had the running back Cam Akers, who was always reliable. So, Jared Goff, I think, if he makes the most out of his opportunity in Detroit, which they better get some studs on offense and defense because their rush defense was last in the league at one point last year. So, if he can continue to improve, then I think he'll I think he'll be fine. Jalen Hurts, we haven't seen much of Jalen Hurts yet. I'll put him in okay for his really good performance against the Packers last season. 
Uh, he showed a lot of potential against a pretty tough defense, pretty tough pass defense. And uh, if they if they stick with Jalen Hurts at the helm in Philadelphia, of course they drafted Devontae Smith, um, got a few defensive pieces. So I think Jalen Hurts will be a valuable asset for the Eagles going forward. Jameis Winston. Jameis Winston throws for. He led the league in passing yards a few years ago. Led the league in picks that same year. And, of course, he's probably going to serve as the starting quarterback this year for the Saints. So, I'm going to put him in okay. Because he's not quite in Pro Bowl. He's not there yet. I mean, he's just not. He's. Ah. Uh, I don't want to say he's bad, but he's he's okay as the tier ranking states. I don't know what else to say about him. He's just one of the most average quarterbacks I've seen. Uh, Justin Fields, based on what he did in Ohio State, he is in the. I mean, I can't determine whether he's going to be a Pro Bowl or okay, or maybe he's a bust. Hey? Who knows? But. I think he'll be a, um, well, once the Andy Dalton situation gets, gets under control and Justin Fields will take the reins after Andy Dalton's one year contract most likely, then Justin Fields will uh, evolve into being a Pro Bowl quarterback. As of now, of course, we don't know, uh, we know what we... We know what we are going to expect from Justin Fields, but you never know how he'll perform in the NFL setting. So, uh, Pro Bowl quarterback, I think he'll one day develop to be quite, quite a stud for the Chicago Bears. Jimmy G. Jimmy Garoppolo. Hey, he's okay. I mean, that Super Bowl berth... He did fine that year. He hasn't thrown for 4,000 yards in any season that he's played. Even in that Super Bowl year, he had about 30, 38, 3,900 yards or so. So, <coughs> excuse me. I don't think uh, he's quite there yet either. Jimmy G is. Joe Burrow. Um, I think Joe Burrow, uh, based on his performance last season, before he uh, went down with the injury, unfortunately. Joe Burrow is a Pro Bowl quarterback. He will develop into being a Pro Bowl quarterback. He will, he will take the Bengals to at least two playoff berths in his career, maybe even more. Who knows? I mean, if the Bengals build their offensive line even more and uh, they have enough weapons that they just, Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd, of course, T. Higgins they drafted last year. Uh, Joe Burrow has a lot to work with. And if he's able to take the Bengals to the playoffs, that's a Pro Bowl quarterback right there. <laughs> Josh Allen. Josh Allen is incredible. Uh, one year, I think he will win MVP. Uh, once, or at least he will be in the MVP conversation. Uh, of course, he was in it last year. If he continues this performance, or even ups um, his uh, stats from last year, he will definitely be in the top five for MVP conversations. So I'll put him in MVP right there. Justin Herbert, Offensive Rookie of the Year last year. Justin Herbert, Pro Bowl quarterback. I think that's pretty easy to say. Uh, last year broke the rookie passing touchdown record, I believe. Uh, of course, he's going to develop into being quite the quarterback. Chargers have their franchise QB. They don't need to draft any more. Justin Herbert's got you covered. Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins, I mean, he's better than you might think he is. He's, quite, he's much better than you might think he is. He's very smart with the ball. Able to make great throws, and even has a little bit of an arm. So, I think Kirk Cousins is, he's good. Uh, showed out in Washington, of course, in the beginning of his career. 
then got traded to Minnesota, uh, showed his ball accuracy, showed his uh, vision. Pretty good quarterback, I think he you know, say. Kyler Murray, Pro Bowl quarterback, I mean, it's a no-brainer. Kyler Murray is just too good. Uh, cannon for an arm, and the legs, the legs are really, really great. I mean, he, he was in the top uh, three or five, can't quite remember, but uh, he was there for rushing yards by QB last season. And, uh, of course, Hail Murray, the best play of last season by any team, greatest play. And Lamar Jackson, former quarterback, uh, if only he could improve his throwing. Lamar Jackson can throw, but if he's able to improve it, then it'll probably be better for him. Mac Jones, the Patriots quarterback, pick number 15. Mac Jones. Whoa. Mac Jones will be... Mac Jones, I think, will evolve into being... Hmm. He'll definitely take over when Cam Newton retires or is traded somewhere else. Or becomes a free agent. Matt Jones, I mean, I think all of these rookie quarterbacks you see, Zach Wilson, Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields, uh, Matt Jones, all of them have Pro Bowl potential. If they continue to develop and show out for their respective teams, then they, they will, uh, you know, have a chance to go to the chance to be Pro Bowlers. Matt Ryan. Okay, quarterback. I mean, he definitely regressed over the past few years. I mean, how old is he right now? Let's see. Whoa. 36 years old. I think he's still got, eh, two years. Maybe two years left in the tank. Um, of course, he was very, very good in his prime with prime Julio Jones. Uh, they had... Man, I can't remember. Falcons team was quite stacked then. I know they had prime Julio Jones. Who else did they have? Of course, Alex Mack was protecting the quarterback very well. Hmm. But yeah, I mean, Matt Ryan was... Matt Ryan was great in his prime. No, of course, regressed over the years. 36 years old. What can you expect? And he's not bad yet. He's not tradable, he's not garbage. He's still good. I think he can be serviceable for now. Patrick Mahomes, no-brainer, and MVP. Only the th third player in NBA and NBA, wow. Third player in an NFL history uh, with 5,000 passing yards and 50 passing touchdowns. Uh, occurred about two years ago, I'm pretty sure. This is a generational talent that nobody can ever pass up on. I mean, if you pass, who the Bears made a huge mistake. <laughs> I'm just thinking back. You are the culprit, man. Russell Wilson, Pro Bowl quarterback. He showed us over the years that he is one of the smartest quarterbacks in the league. Uh, picks and chooses every game. Tyler Lockett or DK Metcalf, basically. But still, he if he can keep his game consistently good throughout the year and not just perform good through weeks one through five and then just go trash then he'll be even greater and then he might be in the MVP conversation there but for now Russell Wilson through all he's achieved uh, been to the Pro Bowl many times he's he was a Pro Bowl talent quarterback maybe you could even argue that he's MVP talent but I'm gonna keep him in Pro Bowl uh, Ryan Tannehill Ryan Tannehill has the skills for Pro, Pro Bowl. Miami just wasn't for him, you know. It's not. It wasn't. It just wasn't a fit for Ryan Tannehill. And as soon as he got into Tennessee, as soon as he took over for uh, Marcus Mariota, he has just been amazing. Taking the Titans to two or one, one or two playoff berths. I mean, he's only been there for two years, and I think he took them to the playoffs both years. So, I mean, he's got so many weapons. 
I mean, not really. He got A.J. Brown. Corey Davis left. Drafted Des Fitzpatrick in the fourth round. Uh, Titans did. Mm, they have Derrick Henry, of course. And if they can improve their defense, Titans will make the playoffs a lot more often. And with a better record, Ryan Tannehill being the ringleader. Sam Darnold will be okay. Not near a Pro Bowl quarterback talent yet. Uh, still hasn't showed us what his full potential is. <laughs> did, he did pretty good at USC. Good draft pick for the Jets, and then just didn't play really well. Jets weren't just weren't for him. Just like Ryan Tannehill, Dolphins weren't for Ryan Tannehill. Uh, Jets just weren't for Sam Donald. And hopefully, uh, with the new team in Carolina, he'll be able to find a new fit. He has many targets. DJ Moore, uh, Robbie Anderson, who is starting to age, who's starting to go on the wrong side of 30. I mean, he's still 27, I think. But still, I mean, make the most out of Robbie Anderson while you can. And the tight end position is just not there. I remember... Hmm. They have DJ Moore, Robbie Anderson, of course, best receiving back in the league, arguably Christian McCaffrey. So, Sam Darnold has a lot to work with. Matt Stafford, Pro Bowl quarterback. Say what you will, but he's a Pro Bowl quarterback. His talent is... He's off the charts. He is absolute cannon for an arm, just like Aaron Rodgers. Uh, these two... These one, two, three, four strongest arms in this entire list. I mean, uh, it's just it's just too much to argue with. Matt Matt Stafford had his most of his career ruined by the Lions, except not with Calvin Johnson and and Nate Burleson. Also, he was a pretty valuable asset back then. Uh, and then he got Kenny Galladay, but otherwise, he's just he's. It wasn't a great fit for uh, Detroit Detroit and Matt Stafford. So Los Angeles will be a, a much better fit for Matt Stafford. He'll be a valuable asset next year. Teddy Bridgewater with the Broncos now. Uh, whoa, what's happening? He is okay. Teddy Bridgewater is just okay. Uh, no pun intended. He's a bridge quarterback. I really... <laughs> no pun intended. Uh... Teddy Bridgewater is an okay bridge quarterback, but he's he can fill in when you need him to. He can't be the ultimate Patrick Patrick Mahomes franchise quarterback, NFL legend, or anything like that. But he's he's good for the moment. He's pretty good. Tom Brady, the greatest player in NFL history, MVP, MVP talent, even at 43, almost 44 years old able to able to fit in insane passes uh, has incredible vision of course I mean, has 20 21 or 22 years I want to say experience in the league I mean he won't make a bad decision unless it's just it's just unlucky Trevor Lawrence number one pick in the draft as was Joe Burrow last year who of course I put in Pro Bowl he will develop quite a bit. Trevor Lawrence will be I think Trevor Lawrence will be one of the one of the great quarterbacks to not just play in the next 10 years. I think he'll be the, one of the great quarterbacks in the history of the league. I mean, insane skills. You won't find a person like this uh I mean, of course we saw Joe Burrow, saw Patrick Mahomes insane. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, if Jacksonville develops talent around Trevor Lawrence, look out. Trevor Lawrence will burn every team he goes by. Mitch Trubisky, tradable, along with Nick Foles. I mean, he's almost a bust. Ends up now, ended up as the backup for Josh Allen in Buffalo. Of course, uh, didn't work out in Chicago at all. He did okay, but 
I mean, last season and the season before just didn't click. Uh, tradable status is what I'm giving Mitch Trubisky as of now. Tua Tagovailoa. That's how you pronounce it, by the way. Tagovailoa. Tua Tagovailoa is, as of now, um, based on what we saw last season, he is he's great. He's great. He didn't throw... If I'm not mistaken, he didn't throw a single pick last season. Maybe he threw one or two. But it was still great. About 13 touchdowns, I believe, uh, through his first seven games. Uh, Carson Wentz is next. But let's not go there yet. Yeah, but I think Tua, Tua Tagovailoa will eventually develop to a Pro Bowl quarterback. If he doesn't, then I don't know what to say. It's just going to be a busk. Carson Wentz, next. Carson Wentz was, of course, in the MVP conversation in the Super Bowl year with the Eagles, and then he got injured. Nick Foles took over. Miraculous win in the Super Bowl for Nick Foles. Carson Wentz, if we don't know right now, he last year he performed like, a garbage uh, type quarterback, but this season not tradable, not okay. He will be a Pro Bowl, uh, Pro Bowl talent quarterback with the Indianapolis Colts. The Colts have quite a lot of talent around them. Uh, really good receiving back in Jonathan Taylor. Uh, they still have T. Y. Hilton, who's not completely out of his prime. Uh, Michael Pittman Jr. Uh, even Mo Ali Cox could perhaps develop into a into an okay tight end. So Carson Wentz has quite a bit to work with here in Indianapolis. Finally, number two overall pick in this past NFL draft, Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson, as I said with all the other rookie quarterbacks this year, he will be he will evolve into a Pro Bowl quarterback only if the New York Jets put talent around him. Right now, their running back is... Who is that? Frank Gore. And they drafted Michael Carter Jr. I remember that. Uh, they do have... They don't have really any good wide receivers and. As of now, uh, based on what's around Zach Wilson, unfortunately, it's not his, it's not going to be his fault, but he's going to be okay. But I'm looking at the future here. For the future, I think he's going to develop into a Pro Bowl quarterback. But if you want to look at the present, he's unfortunately going to be putting okay, unless the Jets make some huge moves in, in uh, the future. So this is the final tier ranking. Uh, MVP, Pro Bowl, okay, tradable, and garbage. Uh, we have four MVPs, MVP uh, caliber quarterbacks. We have uh, 15, if I'm not mistaken, Pro Bowl type quarterbacks, 13 okay quarterbacks, and we do have three tradable quarterbacks who are just uh, either nearing the end of their prime, or just are not good anymore. And, of course, we have garbage. I'm sorry, Drew Locke, but you're not good. I'm just, you're not good. And that's that's it for this video. Please uh, please make sure to like the video if you, if you enjoyed this tier ranking. A little bit of a different video. Uh, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and... Uh, logging off now. See you in the next one. Peace out.